Growing worldwide interest in covering sports and major events, 4K UHD has propelled a highly competitive dynamic in developments of related field cameras and lenses. Ambitious outside broadcasts in 4K UHD have been conducted worldwide over the past few years, and they've stimulated new challenges to optical manufacturers from the production communities. Some producers and camera operators, especially in the sporting world, have challenged the optical manufacturers to go for the 1,000mm telephoto goal. However, they also stressed that the wide-angle field of view must not be compromised in pursuing that telephoto quest. Achieving both poses severe challenges to a sustaining high optical performance, especially for 4K UHD imaging in the context of the small 2 3rd inch image format. Further optical design challenges have arisen since the publication of international standards on high dynamic range and wide color gamut. Canon undertook the challenge to simultaneously extend both the telephoto focal range and the field of view at the wide end. This is our new UJ 111 by 8.3 mm 4K premium lens, which extends to 925 mm at the telephoto end and provides a wide 60.1 degree horizontal angle of view at the wide end. A 2 by range extender would take the lens out to 1850 mm. But Canon did not stop there. We are simultaneously introducing a second field lens, the new Ultra Telephoto UJ 122 by 8.2 mm 4K premium lens. This lens squarely reaches the 1000 mm at the telephoto end and 2000 mm with the built in range extender switched in. The 8.2 mm at the wide end provides a 60.7 degree horizontal angle of view. These two new lenses are astonishing in their achievements in going significantly beyond the focal ranges of long established HDTV lenses while simultaneously achieving 4K premium optical performance. This level of performance was only accomplished by mobilizing multiple new design strategies that include the latest optical design theory and powerful new computer simulation tools, multi-group movable lens elements for reduction of fluctuations in MTF over the focal range, an inner floating focus system design contributing to optimizing the fall off of MTF across the image plane, and more use of aspheric lens elements, fluorite and UD glass elements in new configurations helping to significantly tighten control over chromatic aberrations and the first use of air sphere coatings, ASC, in a broadcast lens. This is an ultra low refractive index outermost layer on top of the normal multi-layer coatings vapor deposited. These lenses have been designed to conform to the ITU recommendation BT2020 wide color gamut specification and to the BT2100 high dynamic range specification. In addition to performance elevations that support these image enhancements, the lenses have detailed data files that precisely quantify the residual lateral chromatic aberration in the lenses, including their variations as zoom and focus controls are operated. And these are reported to the field cameras who implement digital corrections for the same. This optimizes the lens camera wide color gamut HDR imaging performance. A zoom lens having 122 by zoom range is subject to image blur caused by even the smallest physical perturbation or vibration. This is even more acute when dealing with 4K resolution in a small 2 3rd inch image format size. Accordingly, the highest attention was paid to achieving a highly reliable built-in image stabilization system. Improvements in curtailment of image blur, handling of higher vibration frequencies, and virtual elimination of interference of the IS correction on normal lens panning and tilting operations are embodied in both lenses. In addition to sports coverage, long zoom field lenses are used to cover major concerts and other events, and here creative aspirations are employed to add to the visual storytelling. In anticipation of this continuing trend, Canon is introducing a totally new operational control in these two new field lenses. We call it the bokeh effect. The term bokeh is known as a descriptor for the aesthetic quality of the blur producing the out of focus parts of an image produced by a lens. When close to the wide end focal length of the lens, this new macro control allows the camera operator in collaboration with the director to introduce a variety of controlled blurring effects into the image. 
Both the degree of the blur and the speed of its implementation are adjustable by the camera operator. A very significant step forward in extending more creative framing and creative effects for many forms of outside broadcasts has arrived with these two lenses. Please check the Canon USA website for more product details on the UJ 122 by and the UJ 111 by 4K premium lenses. I'm Larry Thorpe, and thank you for watching.